and cautious growth going forward. All right, Shilpa, thanks a lot for getting us that complete picture. But with that, let's move on and talk about the green hydrogen mission, which the cabinet just approved a short while ago. Sources are telling us that the cabinet has approved an initial outlay of 19,744 crore rupees for the green hydrogen mission. Parikshit is here to tell us more about this. Uh, Parikshit, this was a highly watched space and the approval finally coming through now. Well, yes, uh, the talks and deliberations on the Green Hydrogen Mission had been on for almost one year. Uh, there was a cabinet note which had been moved in November, and today it has been finally approved by the UNN cabinet. So 19,744 crores is going to be the total outlay for uh, the Green Hydrogen Mission. Uh, out of this, 17,490 crores will be allocated for strategic interventions. Now, what does this mean? This means direct incentives for green hydrogen manufacturing in the country to the tune of approximately 13,000 crores. The mission plan also emphasizes incentives for electrolyzer manufacturing in the country to the tune of approximately 4,500 crores. So this is a plan that the government has, has till 2030. Sources also say that the total allocation of 19,744 crores is an uh, initial outlay and uh, the scheme, the plan could be reviewed over the years. There will be more specific schemes for uh, different segments which will be launched by the government, but this is an overarching plan, uh, vision plan and an outlay plan that today has been approved by the cabinet. So what are the targets? Uh, by 2030, India hopes to achieve 5 mm MMT of hydrogen production capacity, 8 lakh crore expected investments from the private sector, reduction of 50 MMT of annual greenhouse gas emissions as well. So you will have the cabinet secretary who will be spearheading the national green hydrogen mission and there will be an empowered group of secretaries as well. Uh, there will be a secretariat for the national green hydrogen mission that will also be set up to take this plan forward uh, for the next uh, seven to ten years. That's right, uh, Parikshit. It's a very big move by uh, the government and this is the fuel of the future. And with the government thrust on it, many big business houses will make business proposition on it like we have seen in other renewable sources of energy. Thanks so much for all the details. That's all the time on Business Lunch. Thanks so much for tuning in.